Mimosa, a forest of mimosa. A glade of blossom, mimosa in bloom as far as the eye can see. Heavy yellow loveliness, the very epitome of spring, isn't it? Or perhaps full summer for watch that bee working. But this is harvest time and harvest suggests autumn. In fact, it is neither spring, summer nor autumn here at this moment for this is the land of winter sunshine, the south of France. They're harvesting mimosa, the flower that sings a song of spring months ahead of its time. Mimosa, the shimmering symbol of the winter sun that reigns here when so much of the world is crowned with ice and snow. It's a surprise to many visitors to find that mimosa grows on trees, just as it's a joy to people who have never been to this blue sky coast in England, Germany and even America, to find these dancing sprays on sale before even the first local snowdrop appears. Because all over the wintry world that happens, mimosa growing is an industry on the Côte d'Azur. Winter sunshine is not only a reality here, it's an export. Mimosa breathes moisture in through the powdery protrusions that give it its dancing dreaminess. So a polythene bag preserves it as a flowery denial of winter's bleakness for a full month after it's been picked and trimmed and packed. And remember, whatever season or date it is, this is the fruit of February, destined to put some colour into countries blanketed with snow. New York and Berlin and Brussels. And winter sunshine is on its way as a foretaste of spring to places where winter means something more grim than a cloud in a clear blue sky, which is all it is here. That plane may land an hour or two from now in a blizzard or a snowstorm. But there's no need for us to leave this winter sunshine. We can take off for a start for the Vista Era Hotel perched high over this inimitable coast. Winter sunshine at the dining table. Monte Carlo sunshine as decor garnishing your meal. What a place to build the ritziest sun traps. What a rich blue sky there is here to scrape. A whole coast bleached by the sunlight and a ribbon of a motor road framing scenes that mock our concept of four changing seasons. Just ask that fisherman what the word winter means to him. You're not seeing summer holiday snapshots. Every view here could be a Christmas card from a coast that is less than a two-hour flight from London. It all seems so unfair. Winter and their picking, oranges and lemons. Oranges and, like mimosa, they are symbols of sunshine. They grow them in farmers' back gardens here, and they grow them in reckless profusion. Grapefruit, lemons, and the sweetest of golden oranges, only washed down by the dew. So many oranges they grow that they have hundreds and thousands to spare to create a fete, stringing this sunshine fruit into bangles that build floats and fountains and what have you, that will live just for one lush and lovely festival week. An orange would cost you sixpence, so an orange is reasonably expensive. So just think of them by the multiplied score as raw material for sculpture. For a show so generous that three-dimensional things of beauty are conceived with oranges and lemons as the merest units. See what must be done before the Oranges and Lemons Festival at Montan can begin to be launched. Weeks and weeks of preparation. This is a yearly event here on the coast of winter sunshine, which lasts little more than one significant, but you can see how exciting, week. It has never happened before, but this year, 55,000 pounds weight of oranges and lemons have been bought and incorporated in this festival show. And you can see what a springtime they've made of it. Just try and estimate how many oranges decorate this fountain flow.
This is the very essence of sunshine at the time of the year when it's an unbelievable surprise. They too must know what a miracle it is that they have to illustrate this winter sunshine because a quarter of a million citrus fruits have been used. And used is the word because after the show, they'll be dried up and useless and simply thrown away. Orange trees in the streets and oranges by the hundred thousand formed into floats as the focus of spectacular fun. Join in this sunshine carnival. We've seen other carnivals. We've taken part here at home in battles of flowers. This is a parade unique, a procession and a let your hair down confetti festival, which reflects the miracle of winter and sunshine marrying so joyously. just need a bag of confetti and you'll make friends with everyone you meet. That means with the whole population of Montan and milling crowds from miles around. The miracle is that no one gets hurt or run over, not a single casualty. Just a jostling town full of people with sunshine in their hearts. The bells of St. Clement's never sang an oranges and lemons song as gay as this. 